I'm Dark and Devoti, and welcome back to The Monster Inside. Hopefully my reading wasn't too bad in the last video, so let's just continue to the next chapter, chapter 2. The scene was already picked clean by the cops days ago, but I've got a knack for finding things others overlook. A knack. More of a symptom of a condition. Other less useful symptoms I keep in check, but for the time being, my keen sense of smell would come in handy. It was faint, but I could smell it before I even approached the police line. The scent was the less of a thing, and more of an emotion. Seduction. A strangely familiar smell. I expected the scent of trepidation, or maybe even outright fear, but Mrs. Farnsworth seemed to have been at the height of pleasure when she left the world. Brought me, it brought a new meaning to a crime of passion. Pushing the forward from my mind, it was time to get down to business. Investigate the scene. Okay, well, there's uh, some scratch marks on the tree here. A burnt mark on a nearby tree caught my eye. I ran my fingers along its length and felt a chill down my spine. It wasn't just any burn mark, this was a mark of an ancient magic. It... well I did read that right, yeah. <laughs> it's doubtful the cops would have picked up on it. Could Lily have been right? Something unnatural was at play here? But I was no stranger to the strange. Okay, sorry for the terrible reading. <laughs> What's this? Muddy footprints everywhere. Difficult to pick up on anything from the prints the cops left behind in this in their haste. But cops don't wear $2,000 pair, $2, pairs of carnicos. It looks like Mr. Farnsworth was there that night and walked away on his own two feet. After looking around for a while longer, I realised the park had given up all that was hiding from me. So I trolled back to my apartment and my head hit the pillow like it owned me money. And that is the end of the chapter. That was a quick chapter. <laughs> Cheerio.